I call the Honourable Member Stuart Nash. Thank you much, Mr Speaker. I'm not going to take a long call on this bill for the main reason that I'm very keen to see this bill rush through the House and, get, and uh, be turned into law, Mr Speaker, because I suppose one of the things that underpins any financial system is investor confidence. And as Leanne Delzell talked about earlier, uh, there is risk in every investment, of that there is no doubt, and reward is often a function of risk. However, there is one type of risk that New Zealand investors should not be party to, and that is the risk of negligence or incompetence on behalf of the directors that are there to uh, maintain the integrity of these investments. We all know uh, that the integrity of a lot of the directors of the finance companies that fell over was called into question, uh, to the point where some of these characters have been called through, are being dragged through the courts. And I hope, Mr Speaker, I hope that a lot of these characters are going to be made examples of, that are going to be sent down, because what they did is ripped about $6 billion, $6 billion out of the pockets of New Zealanders who had trusted them, who had saved hard, who had put money away for a whole raft of reasons, every which one was good. But as Leanne said, they perhaps didn't price risk as well as they could have, but they certainly didn't, and they could never have known about the risk of incompetence and negligence. But, Mr Speaker, let me just give you a quote. In the first reading of a bill called the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Amendment Act, uh, Dr Michael Cullen noted, and I quote, the amendments in this bill implement the first phase of the new non-bank deposit taker framework. A second bill, to be introduced next year, will cover the remaining amendments required to implement the registered non-bank depositor taker regime, including licensing and fit and proper requirements, end quote. I suppose the, the point of that quote, Mr Speaker, is it's three years on from when, Mr. Cullen, when Dr Cullen gave that speech. And I just sort of, I, it's a question, I'm not, I'm not casting dispersions, but I wonder if in fact the government has taken its eye off the ball. Has been a little bit negligent is probably too hard, but I th my personal view, Mr Speaker, is this sort of bill, this sort of bill should have come before the House probably 18 to 24 months ago. In fact, I'm, in fact, Mr Speaker, this probably should have been on the first order paper that was put out by the current government. And the reason I say that as I go back to my initial point, confidence is what determines the robustness of financial markets. And without the sort of legislation, without the sort of legislation, all New New Zealanders don't necessarily have confidence in a sector that absolutely collapsed around their ears. This is the sort of bill, Mr Speaker, that restores the confidence in markets. And goodness me, if we need anything in this country at the moment, it is investor confidence. So I suppose I just ask, what has the government been doing with regard to this? I know Simon Powers put through a lot of bills, but we've also seen a lot of bills come through the House over the last two and a half years, which really, uh, they're important to certain sectors of that, there is no doubt, but this is important to the whole country. And as Leanne Delzell outlined, this whole process started about five or six years ago. Five or six years ago. Maybe it should have started earlier, it doesn't matter. But it could have been finished within the first six months of the government. I'm just going to talk about very briefly about two of the most important provisions. And uh, the first one of these is the Reserve Bank. This Act will give the Reserve Bank the power to vet and remove directors of non-bank deposit holders in certain circumstances. As I mentioned, there are too many shady characters out there, Mr Speaker, and we have to do whatever we can to make sure that these guys never hijack a sector like they did with the finance sector. The other most important element of this bill, well, I think the most important element, is that it requires non-bank deposit takers to be licensed by the Reserve Bank, subject to analysis by the Reserve Bank of the applicant's ability to meet the prudential requirements and other legislation. What this basically means is it gives the Reserve Bank the power to grant a licence, but also the power to de-licence non-bank deposit takers who do not meet acceptable standards. And I, when I'm, as, as I sum up, Mr Speaker, I would just like to come back to the first point I made and the most important point is that this finance sector in our country absolutely needs confidence restored in it. This parliament can do that and I actually think it's my personal belief 
that this should have been done earlier. It wasn't, but let's get this bill through. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker. I call the